A new year has begun and already in the first week we receive a wealth of incredibly useful Flutter and Dart packages. In this video I introduce you to the top 10 in terms of likes. From now on you can create your own card games using a package for rendering all 52 cards of a regular card deck. Replace your old boring draw widget with one that can be animated. Make the cursor of your Flutter web app stand out by giving it a unique feel and look. And 7 more packages that made it into the top 10 of the week. Welcome to SyntechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with calendar week 1. Starting off with something for our ears. A way to implement sounds into your Flutter app is provided by the package Raw Sound, helping you to play raw PCM audio data, 16-bit integer and 32-bit float. Frameworks are great because they make things so much easier. So how about a framework within a framework? With XU, XU, UI, we get a UI design Flutter framework that makes development easier and quicker. Every widget starts with a XU, for example XU box, and instead of specifying all properties by using the parameters as you would do with a classic container widget, for example, you specify the properties by using methods. Very interesting, if you have already tried this package, please tell me about your experience. To make it easier for the users of your app to get started, it can be helpful to explain some features before they are used for the first time. With the package Popover, you can visually highlight areas of your app to draw focus on the feature to explain the function behind it. Snack bars are great for giving the users a quick and short feedback on a performed action. The package Material Snack Bar helps to display snack bars with the newest material design on desktop and mobile apps. If you love to manipulate, and of course I don't mean other people, but strings, then have a look at String R, a comprehensive string manipulation plugin for Dart inspired by VocaJS, which is also null safety compliant. A tidy house, a tidy mind, or as we say in Germany, Ordnung ist das halbe Leben, which means order is half of the life. The next package helps you to tidy up your data and is called Sort, a package for sorting numbers, lists, maps, doubles and dates with quick and simple sort algorithms. If you don't use secure passwords these days, you make it very easy for the attackers to invade your privacy. One of the simplest but most effective ways to protect yourself from malicious attacks is to use strong passwords. So it's even better if you encourage your app users to do the same. The package Strength Password can help you with that by estimating the strength of a password and if the password is not strong enough, it ensures that the validation fails. More security packages can be found in the videos of week 53, where I introduce you a keyboard that prevents keylogger attacks and screen capturing, and week 52 if you need a random password generator. A new option for more uniqueness in Flutter Web offered by this week's number 3 called Fancy Cursor. Make your website look unique with a simple yet powerful custom cursor. If you are interested in such packages for Flutter Web, definitely check out week 51, where I introduced a package for parallax effects. There are several ways to place your menus within a scaffold. App bar for a menu at the top of the screen, bottom navigation bar for menus at the bottom and menus you can make appear by swiping left or right like drawer or end drawer. Number 2 of the week enriches us with a drawer widget which is animatable. The package animated drawer offers a simple yet fully customizable drawer with animations. For detailed information about the drawer class check out the link in the video description. No Limit Texas Hold'em is one of my favorite card games. Too bad all the casinos are closed at the moment, but this week's number one allows us to create card games by ourselves. With 35 likes and the max amount of pub points, the package Playing Cards offers exactly what the name implies, namely a rendering library for standard 52 card decks. 
all good defaults are provided out of the box, but you can even customize the cards with your own style objects. If you are interested in how to create a Flutter game from scratch, I recommend you my Flutter Connect 4 series. There you learn how to build the UI for the board, the basics of the GEDEX state management system and how to translate the logic of the game into code. Those were the top 10 releases of the week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the description down below where you find a list of all the package releases and further information. To be notified about upcoming videos, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any kind of feedback, so don't hesitate to leave a comment. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a great week and see you soon.